I have spoke with people that know the Bible really, really well. But what good is it to know the Bible really well, but not apply what you know? I have spoke to people that can really, really pray well, that can really tell you what is in the Bible, and it really makes you think, wow, I need to step up my game. But for some reason, many of those people, or at least the people that I know, even though they know the Bible really well, they don't apply it to their lives. And I find that very, very interesting. How can you know the Bible really well, but still choose to not apply it to your life? That really makes me think. I know when I was in sin, let me say this. I was forced to go to church back when I was younger. So when when I was under 18, I was forced to always <laughs> go to church. And I hated every bit of church. Yes, I've learned some things, but I was really not interested in going to church. So I did not learn as much as I should have. And when I got out of church, I still did not know really that much, even though I went to church so much. But the more that I learned of God, slowly but surely, I was changing things of myself. There are people that know so much. Perhaps good enough to be pastors and preachers and stuff like that, but yet they don't apply it to their lives. And one thing that pops into my mind, and I am probably not right, but one thing that pops into my mind you have to be a really wicked person to know so much of the Bible, but still willfully sin. I know that there are some people who don't want to sin. They want to change. No, I am not talking about that. People who are choosing purposely to go out there and sin when they know so much about the Bible. I am talking about these type of people. Wickedness. People who know more than me, perhaps. Still purposely going out there, living a double life. That is dangerous. That is extremely dangerous. The more that you know of God, the more that you are accountable. So the more that you are accountable, hey, the greater your punishments, the more that you are going to suffer for your sins. Because you have to reap whatever you sow. And if you are more accountable of your sins, the scripture is right in my mind. I may have to post it in the comment section somewhere Ah, I can't think of it right now. But the more that you are accountable, hey, the more that you are going to get punished. That is wickedness. So I pray that this makes sense. What comes to my mind now, it is your heart. You have to change your heart. 
Because if you know so much about the Bible, but you still live as though, as you always have, pretty much, it is a heart problem. And if you don't change that, I am telling you right now, many more bad things are going to happen to you. So the bad things that are happening to you right now is due to your willful sin. It is different if you are sinning every so often because you are trying to change. Well, sin is sin, but but it is different when you are out there knowing that you are doing is wrong, but you still want to teach or preach to people and you want to stay in sin, you, you really don't want to change. That is dangerous. Let me stop here. God bless you.